Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about electronic load and its applications. Electronic load is a circuit that drawing a constant current from battery or even supercapacitor to test the real capacity of them. For example, here I have this 12 volt battery. The capacity of this battery is 9 amp hour. That means if you drawing 1 amp from this battery, the charge drops from 100% to 0% after 9 hours. So we need to a dummy load to test the battery. If you simply connect a resistor to the battery for drawing 1 amp current, the current dropping by dropping the voltage according to Ohm's law. This is the electronic load circuit using op amp. Here we have the battery or supercapacitor to be tested. When we are running the circuit, the voltage on the non-inverting input is 1 volt, which is more than the voltage on the inverting input. So the output of the op amp will be high and turns on the MOSFET. So the current starts to flowing through the MOSFET and the resistor. But as soon as the current become more than 1 amp, according to Ohm's law, the voltage across this resistor become more than 1 amp. So at this time, the voltage on the inverting input of the up amp become more than non-inverting. So the output become 0 and turns off the MOSFET. This cycle repeating and the current stay constant. As you can see on the scope, the MOSFET is switching by frequency of 180 kHz. The reference voltage here comes from a potentiometer as a voltage divider. Since the voltage at this point is equal to the current here, so I simply connect a DC voltmeter at this point. To preset the current before connect the battery under test. After designing the PCB layout, I make it by my CNC machine and soldering the components on the PCB. I preset the current to 1 amp and connect it to my bench power supply. As you can see, the current stay constant by changing the voltage. I also test it with my lithium ion battery. If you need more precision, you can use a high precision voltmeter and a multi-torn potentiometer. In the next video, I using this electronic load to checking the capacity of my supercapacitor. Thanks for watching.